Hello everybody, Big Mess coming to you live from Tucky CG Fly Shop in Silva, North Carolina. And today we want to talk to you about a few of the reels that we offer in the Lampson lineup. Lampsons are fantastic reels. We've sold these reels for years. Many of us at the shop use these reels and we're huge fans. The wonderful thing about Lampson is they offer various price points that fits a lot of people's budget. And when you come in, I didn't say price point, let's use that term loosely a little bit. But for the value conscious customer, you're not skimping out on any of the quality that you may with other brands on the market. So today I wanna go over a few of those reels options there for you, maybe highlight some of their technology, keep it on the, you know, kind of the down low side of things for folks like you and me can really understand it there. So the first reel we're gonna start with is gonna be the Lampson Liquid. The Lampson Liquid, uh, comes into us. It is a pressure cast aluminum and it helps keep that price point down without skimping on quality. A lot of the guides here at the shop, they use this reel, a lot of our customers, and this reel takes a lot of abuse. More abuse than I would like to put on something, honestly, there, but, but this is really held up very, very well for us. All of your drag systems on your Lampsons is what they call a conical drag system, and the way that that guy works is it allows them to give you, in their terms, a, a better drag uh, inside this area here, which is sealed, which is nice. It's sealed from the environment. So you have zero startup torque on your drag system. Another thing while we have your spool out of here I wanna hit on is how easy it is to change it from a left-hand retrieve to a right-hand retrieve. If any of you folks have had the tinker with some of the other brands on the market. Some are easy, some are not, but this one in my opinion is one of the easiest. All we do, you take it apart, take your hand, you're going to loosen that up just like so. We got a little area where we're going to take this out. You flip it, you put it back in like so, and you have switched your drag from left hand to right hand, just like that. You want to reverse it, go back to where most of us are. You just repeat the steps and flip it, and there we go. So fairly simple. And it's the same whether you have the liquid or you have a Remix or a Guru or a Speedster and all of those things there, it's, it's all the same, okay? These come in different sizes. They go with three plus, a five plus, a seven plus, so on and so on. And the, the way that that system works if it's a three plus a three it's got a minus a three and a plus that means it's for a two three or four if it's a, a five it has a minus and a plus four five six so on and so forth so it's very easy to try to identify the reel that's going to match up to your rod specifically this one here is a five it's a minus five plus so this one here is for a four or five or a six great value and the other thing that's popular at least here with us is the fact that you can not only get a solo or a single reel, but they also offer that in what we call the Lampson three pack. The beautiful thing about this is you're gonna get your reel, but you get two additional spools, a nice carrying case, padded carrying case. And the beauty about having these extra spools is let's say that you want to tinker in maybe some sinking lines uh, or your taper on your lines is real important to you. This allows you to have the ability to have different lines spooled on here and with a quick little change, you basically have three reels in one. Great value. We sell a lot of these here at the shop. You can look at all these things. You can find all these things. Should be on flyshopusa.com uh, or also here in the shops as well. But I wanted to point that out. This is a great thing and if you're getting into this or maybe you've got, you're only fishing one rod at a time. So let's say you have a four weight and a five weight you don't want to buy an, an extra reel, you know, having the extra spools allows you the ability to, you know, have like two reels. Okay, so that's our Lampson three pack there. The next one we're going to move up to is going to be the Remix. The neat thing ab about the Remix is that you do have your pressure cast aluminum spool, but you do have a machine frame on the outside. So it gives you the best of both worlds here. So we do step up in price point, uh, but it gives you the durability of having a CNC machined aluminum frame that they do. Uh, a lot of these here is like a type two anodized machine, 6061 aluminum type frame. And 
understand when you look at rails, you know, why is one rail more expensive than another rail? A lot of it has to boil down to the materials it's made out of and how long it takes to make the, the reel itself. When we can look at drag systems, uh, all those things are important, but how much time does this thing set on a CNC machine? The, the effort, the design process, the CAD uh, drawings they do on these things is amazing. So when you get up into these higher price point reels, regardless if it's a Lampson or whatever, that's why you start to have those inherent higher cost. We get asked that question a lot, hey, why is this reel cost more than this particular reel? And that's one of the reasons why. Also, where's the reel manufactured at as well? The other thing about the lamps that I've yet to point out to you, most reels, you have your reeling knob, and a lot of times you have a counterbalance. With the lamps, and they have actually got the counterbalance built into the spool, so you don't have that other little area exposed out here on, on the spool itself. So, uh, quality, fit, and finish, right? You start to look at those things, and another reason why lamps and really starts to stand out to a lot of people. So, if you've got a little bit more money to spend and you're, you want a little bit more durable frame, the Remix is a way to go. A uh, couple of different color waves in this one here. This just happens to be this guy here. Uh, don't know the fancy terms on it, but it's kind of a greenish, uh, turquoisey type color. The next reel that we have that I'm going to pick up here is the Guru. A lot of you folks have the Guru. This is a fully CNC machined uh, reel here. It is one of our more popular ones that we have. You have all the technology I was talking about earlier, the same drag system, the same ease of reversing from a left-hand retrieve to a right-hand retrieve, regardless if you're right-handed or left-handed. This is made in Boise, Idaho. This one here on the bottom of your real seat is it is in all of them. It does have your, your five minus and a plus, so quickly you know this is a four, a four, a five, and a six. Your built-in counterbalance as well, so you don't have an exposed uh, weight like you do on your rims of your automobile out there as well. It is very light, so when you're looking at you know, purchasing a reel, one of the things I encourage people to do, if you're not purchasing a rod from us that day, so you're, you've already got a current rod you're, you have, bring it in, let's put a couple of different reels on there and see how it balances out. That can make a tremendous difference when you're out there on the water, you start to think about swing weight, fatigue factors, things like that. Once again, we see here how easy that is to, to change that. With this one here, you do have your contrasting colors on it, which Lampson does a great job with that too. The spool is exceptionally light as well. And you see how they removed all of that material, that raw material. And this here is when you get into quality fit and finish, folks, this is when you, you see attention to detail. That's why it's gonna cost you a little bit more money, but you got a reel that's gonna last you for a lifetime for sure. So here is the Lampson Guru, a crowd favorite here at the shop uh, for sure. Lampsons have a very distinctive sound. And of course, you know, you got a fish taking me. This is the sound of success. This is them trying to take you down the river, folks. So if you get into the backing here at, uh, at one of our fish, I want you to bring me a picture and tell me a story about it for sure, but uh, great one. The Speedster S. I have this particular reel in a five. I have it on my Scott G Series. Uh, works out beautifully. This is an awesome, awesome reel. I love this color as well. All of the same technology that we have. And if you've noticed, there's no button on the frame itself to dislodge your spool. A couple ways you can do this, but if you take your thumbs on the back side of the frame and kind of push out like so, it comes out like that, okay? Hopefully y'all could see that's kind of hard to demonstrate unless I had a camera over my shoulder. You do see a little bit of difference in your drag knob. This here has been fully CNC machined as well, so they've removed that access stock. You have nice grip on here if your fingers are wet. You think about being out in the, in the creeks and rivers and things like that, you should be wet. So we even have gloves in the wintertime. Real easy to control that right there. Fantastic tolerances. If we look at the, the Guru, you see that knob. Once again, areas for your fingers to grip. And it doesn't matter if we get here on the um, the Remix or even the Liquid, you do have nice grip features on that. Small things, you know, I almost overlooked that, overlooked that but on the, on the stream and in performance when you need it, it's really nice to have it there as well. Beautiful piece of work right here. And 
excellent addition to any rod you may have out there for sure. It's really light, but keep in mind when you are selecting a reel and you, and you have that reel on your rod, it may feel good, but understand you're going to add backing to it and you're going to add fly line to it, which is going to add additional weight. Okay. The one thing I like to caution people too, if you do spool stuff up on your own, this is a kind of a pro tip. You want to make sure, you know, once you get everything on here, don't put, don't put too much backing on it that you're here to the point to where your line is actually hitting your, your frame. Okay, that's not good. You don't want that to be the case. If you follow the instructions and the recommended amounts on how much backing and going on here, you're usually in pretty good shape. Okay, if you're spooling these yourself, like we do, you don't have that machine that's going to get super, super tight in there. So you have to be cautious of that. But more often than not, one of the things that we see when people bring a reel to us and there's an issue or they want us to change the line, their line is hitting that frame uh, right there. And it's not really something that you want to do. Over time, it actually could damage your fly line potentially. Other than that, it kind of, until you get a few feet of line out your, your reel, it doesn't feel right anyway. And if you start kind of reeling stuff in too, it doesn't feel right. So this right here is the Speedster. As I highlight that on that, once again, it is a machine 6061 aluminum. Uh, it anodized, which is fantastic. So it's going to hold up under the elements. You got a sealed conical drag system, integrated counter balances. Uh, on your, uh, we look at our liquid and we look at the um, your spool on your remix. That is your um, pressure cast aluminum. Okay, so this right here is the uh, the not the Guru lineup, but this is one of the lamps and lineups that we ha have here at Tucka CG Fly Shop. You can visit us in three locations: three Depot Street, Bryson City, North Carolina; five thirty. West Main Street Silva and 110 Depot Street in Wingsville, North Carolina. You can always visit us online at flyshopusa.com. And if you have any questions and you want to call the shop, you can reach us at 828-488-3333. Hope this video was helpful and be sure to share and give us a thumbs up. Thank you, folks.